Welcome back. So can buying a three-year-old Chromebook ever make sense? So this is a brand new Chromebook. It's been sat on a shelf somewhere, I guess, for the past three years. But it is a three-year-old model, but it's fairly highly specced. So yeah, it's a Lenovo. And if you follow me on X, you may have seen my post on the deal last week. So this is a Lenovo IdeaPad Slim. 5i confusingly with an intel core i5 processor so it's going to be pretty powerful it's got 8 gig of ram it's ddr4 it's not a chromebook plus it's too early for that so it's an 11th gen uh, core i5 processor so that would rule it out you'd have to have at least a 12th gen core i3 or above um, and there's going to be some other things that will rule it out from being a Chromebook Plus 2, like it's only got a 720p webcam. But as we get into it, we see the rest of the spec is pretty high. So there's a uh, 512 NVMe uh, storage drive in it. Uh, as I mentioned, the 8 gig of RAM. So yeah, some sites in the UK are still retailing this new for close to £500, I think. I'll throw an example up on the screen as well. Um, that just seems a bit crazy to me and I think there's better places to put your money towards a Chromebook at that price but for this price let's see what we've got okay so as usual we've got the Chromebook in there and we've got the 45 watt USB-C charger so yeah nothing unexpected there there's probably some paperwork in the box too but as usual we'll ignore that let's get in and take a look at the Chromebook Oh yeah, there was the uh, the paperwork hiding under there. So yeah, it's the IdeaPad 5i Chromebook, 14 inch, sixth generation. Uh, it's yeah, Lenovo Slim 5. So one of the first tests we'll also see, does this one live up to the Slim in its name? Let's get it out. Okay, it's feeling pretty lightweight, which is nice. It's got that two-tone finish. I think this is called Arctic Grey. Uh, looks similar to some of the other Lenovo's we've seen on the channel. And you can just see it's got that two-tone finish. Fairly smart looking. And yeah, in terms of it being slim, well, yeah, I guess probably qualifies, doesn't it? So you've got one USB-C port there on the right-hand side. And then over on the left, we've got a second USB-C port. We've got a full-size USB-A port. We've got a headphone microphone combo jack, and we've got a micro SD card slot, as well as the charge indicator for the power or battery. So yeah, pretty nice standard setup. Underneath, uh, we have got uh, vents on here and there will be fans. As I say, it's got a uh, 11th gen Intel Core i5 processor. And if you can see on the details down here, the manufacture date, interestingly, this was actually manufactured in 2023. So December 23, so almost this year. So they have still been making this model since this time. So it was summer 2021 when it was announced, this particular variant of it. And they have still been making it. I thought they were just maybe selling older stock of it. But I guess they've continued the line. But if you look on the Lenovo website today, it does actually show that it's now discontinued. Um, I'll chuck in a link to how you can check the spec of any Lenovo using the site I will have just shown on screen as well. So that might be handy. Let's open it up, a bit more paperwork and the protection in there. Give you a quick look at the keyboard. So Lenovo normally making decent keyboards. I don't imagine this will be any different. Yeah, feels very similar to the keyboard I had on the Flex 5i. Uh, good to see the speakers uh, upward facing on the keyboard deck as well. Uh, keys, yeah, fairly sort of medium travel, I would say, and feel pretty nice. Obviously, there will be a full review of this coming, so if you're not already subscribed, please do sub and tick the bell if you want to see that. We've got the branding, so you've got the Core i5 processor, as mentioned, that's an 11th gen. It's got the Intel Iris Xe graphics, so that's the better option of the Intel graphics rather than the UHD. So, yeah, decent internal spec for sure. It is a plastic build, 
I should mention. So I think, in fact, hang on, that lid, sorry, I should have said that is aluminium. So that feels pretty good. Um, plastic bottom though, two decent supports. And yeah, inside plastic as well around the keyboard frame, but feels pretty sturdy. As I say, the keys feel good. They are backlit as well, so I'll show you that in just a bit. And the trackpad seems decent size. It's not loose, which is the first check. Yeah, it seems to have a, an okay click to it, but we'll see once it's in use. And then for the display itself, let's see. So the screen does go back 180 degrees. Uh, and the display itself, so firstly, it's not coming on, which likely means we're out of battery. Um, and yeah, it's going to be, it's a 300 nit uh, panel, full HD IPS, non-touch in this model. There are some you can get with touch um, capability, but not for this one. And you've got a privacy slider over the, the webcam, which is always nice to see, um, but just a 720p webcam on this one. Okay, well, I think next we'll uh, get this set up with my test user and I'll show you a few other checks or things I like to poke around, have a look at. So back at my desk and instead of using the included 45 watt USB-C charger, I'm gonna take the opportunity to show you guys this. It's the Charmaster 100 watt USB-C charger that I picked up on Black Friday. Now, the unique thing about this as a power bank is that it can not only charge devices, but it can also power them as well. So it's strong enough to power, say, a Chromebook or a laptop up to uh, needing 100 watts, which obviously is far in excess of what this Chromebook should need. Um, but yeah, it's not just a power bank that charges, it can actually power and you can use your laptop or Chromebook at the same time, so pretty cool. I will do a full video on that. I have got a video on the 65 watt version that I had uh, a few years ago, so I'll link that one in the top right for now as well. Okay, so the amber charge light has come on, so let's just see if we've got some life in here now. Occasionally, a Chromebook just needs uh, a connection to power for the first time setup. It won't necessarily mean that it's uh, out of power, but I don't know if you just saw, but the, the screen that flashed up then, it was the old boot screen rather than the dark mode one. It was with the light mode with the white background. So yeah, I think we're gonna be on a fairly old build of Chrome OS here, which would make sense. Uh, let's see, so we're at 71% on the battery. Uh, so yeah, it wasn't completely flat, so that's good. Let's go ahead and click get started now. So if you haven't set up a Chromebook before, uh, just take you through a bit of what we do there. Let me know if you want to see a full video on that. So first step is to connect to a network and to pick out your wireless and get connected there. So might just blur this out while I get connected. Okay, it's asking me to accept terms of service. Haven't seen this screen for a while because it doesn't look that way in the, uh, the newest builds of Chrome OS. Now it's going ahead and checking for updates. So you would hope that it's going to find the updated build at this point. Yeah, so it's found the build. Uh, it's just gonna update it. I think you can usually pick to skip this and then you can download it once you're in Chrome OS, but we'll let it go ahead. Let's see if I can turn on the backlit keyboard and show you that. So holding down the Alt key, tapping the screen brightness up. Yeah, I can see that the backlit keyboard has come on. It's probably not gonna show up too great on the camera right now. So I'll show you a shot of that in just a bit. But yeah, really nice to have that on here. And I'll skip ahead once it's done with this download. While we wait, I will do one thing, which is to peel this off the webcam. And then this is the usual setup you get. Obviously, if it's a personal Chromebook, you just need to pick uh, it's for you unless you're setting up for your child and you want to set any kind of restrictions or management around that. But I'm just gonna pick you. Okay, something went odd. I just had a sign-in attempt that didn't work. So I'm just gonna try again with my test account. Let's do that. I'll just blur the screen in a second when I pop my password in. And then of course, I'll give my 2FA code. And just a prompt or reminder to you guys, if you haven't got two-step verification enabled, please, please, please take a bit of time, get that sorted out. It's really the minimum you need to have on your account at the moment. 
So I'm just going to put my code from my Authenticator app in. There we go, and hopefully we'll be into the Chromebook. Here we go. So uh, it gives you the option to turn on sync. So yeah, I want to synchronize my apps and settings. It gives me a chance to pick a pin. So this is obviously local to the device. You don't have to pick a pin, but I've just picked uh, one that I want to use. Um, I need to agree to the Play Store apps and services apparently. So yeah, so backup, I'm gonna turn off location and I'm not gonna review anymore. I'm just gonna go for accept. Okay, it's trying for the Google Assistant now as well. So you can obviously turn that on if you want to. Um, I'm gonna say no thanks to the Assistant. And then you can pick whether you want dark theme or light theme. I'm gonna go for dark and we're ready. Right, we're into the Chromebook. Okay, and then we get the welcome screen. You've obviously got all the perks and bits that you can look through as usual on there. So I'm gonna close that. Right, so now we're recording on the Chromebook screen just to make it a bit easier. I'll show you a few things I like to look at. So we'll click down in the bottom right. We'll click onto the settings app up here. And we'll go down to about Chrome OS on the left hand side. And we'll just see, so, okay, so we've only updated to build 105. So that's why I was noticing a couple of things like with the screen recording, it didn't give all the options I was expecting because we're not quite at 126 yet, uh, which would be the latest version of Chrome OS. So that explains a couple of things. So 105 is probably what it's shipped with. What it's actually doing when it updates earlier then, I'm not entirely sure whether that's updating things uh, within the sort of the base build that it references not sure because I thought that would have updated further, but it might be that it's just done an interim update to 105. Um, if we go into additional details, uh, we can see the update schedule. So this Chromebook's going to get Chrome OS updates until June 2031. So again, I think that just sort of pushes what a bargain this has been at that sort of 167 uh, pound price point. So yeah, really nice bit of update life left on it. Um, if this was a refurbished Chromebook, I'd be looking at the battery cycles. Um, so come back down to about Chrome OS, come on to diagnostics as it's brand new. Huh, okay. That's really interesting. So brand new Chromebook, but four battery cycles. So has it been returned before? Has it been set up somehow? Um, not sure, but that's kind of interesting to see. 100% uh, health though, so I'm not really concerned about that, but it looks like it was worth me just coming in and having a look at that. One other thing I recommend you check is in settings, type in display and go to display size. So although it's a full HD screen, the default won't always necessarily have it running at that resolution. So you can see, I thought things were looking a bit bigger than uh, they should be. It's running at 1536 by 864. If we actually knock it up here, we can get it there to the native 1920 by 1080, so the full HD resolution. Let's just see, things should look, yeah, a lot better on, uh, on screen now. So a little bonus I nearly forgot. One of the things I wanted to work out about this Chromebook, this strip along here, just under the touchpad when you have it open, is a light. So the only time I'm finding it's coming on at the moment is when you resume from standby. There we go, you see the green light, but What's the point of it? Let me know in the comments if you like this kind of informal unboxing video. Drop me a comment as well. Let me know uh, any questions you have about this one. There will be a full review coming, so do sub if you want to see that. And in the meantime, check out this next video from the channel. Cheers.